we have the next presentation will be by Yamaguchi-san from Orient Corporation, and he will talk about money, credit systems, and how it works in the ICT environment with mobility. Welcome. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Naki Rai Yamaguchi, and I'm an executive officer of Orient Corporation. It's my great pleasure to have the opportunity to uh, talk to you this afternoon. Before beginning my presentation, I'd like to introduce Orient Corporation, which is called Orico. Uh, Orico is one of the uh, major consumer finance companies, and its headquarters is located in Tokyo. And we issue about the 12 million credit cards, and also provide the uh, various finance products, uh, such as uh, cash loans, automobile loans, installment loans. And the total asset of Oracle is about 4.5 trillion Japanese yen, which is equivalent to the uh, 45 million US dollars. Today, I'd like to talk about the uh, contactless payment mark uh, contactless payment market in Japan. Um, at the beginning, I'd like to show your, you the, uh, the contact contents of my presentation. There will be four parts. One history of uh, contactless payment in Japan. Number two, Oracle's footstep of contactless payment, Card Mobile. Three, current contactless payment market in Japan. Then the last one will be the our view of the future. Now I am moving to the, uh, the first part, the history of contactless payment in Japan. This table, this table, it may be hard to see on the screen. Um, th this screen shows the, the history of contactless payment in Japan. In 2001, the East Japan Railway, uh, JR East in short, launched the Suica, which was the, the first contactless payment product in Japan. JR East, which was the, uh, the JR East requirement for the uh, processing speed was less than 0.1 seconds per transaction so that the 60 passengers can pass the gate per minute. Only Sony's Perica could um, satisfy the other requirement, so Perica was adopted to Suica by JRP. Suica was originally developed as a stored pair for passing the gate but in 2004, JR East added a function of purchasing goods with the Suica. Then the mobile version, which is called the Mobile Suica, was added in 2006. Now over 40 million Suica cars are issued, but the mobile Suica, use, uh, mobile Suica users is uh, limited to only 3.1 million. Following Suica, various contactless payment products such as AD, QuickPay, ID, PayPass, Visa Touch, Nanako, and Wow were launched from 2002 to 2007. Unfortunately, except PayPass and PayWay and JSPD, those were Perica based and limited to used only in Japan. Almost all of those products have a mobile version, too. Next slide shows the, the current major contactless payments product in Japan. As you can see on the slide, 89% of those are prepaid products, and only 11% are credit products. Next. I am talking about the, uh, the Oracle's footstep of contactless payment cards and mobiles. During my uh, work in the New York area, I had a chance to visit and uh, to see the uh, PayPass final at the cafeteria in the Mastercard headquarters purchasing New York in 2002. When I saw it, I felt this must be the, the mainstream of payment for the future because it was easy, speedy, and convenient. After I was transferred to Tokyo in 2003, I wanted to introduce PayPass in Japan market. 
Then Oracle, working together with the MasterCard Japan office, carrying out the pilot of PayPass with a key for time in Oracle headquarters uh, in 2004. Consequently, in 2005, Oracle started to discuss with a few co-branded partners to adopt PayPal. Oracle and Xperi, uh, a themed town located at the gateway to Tokyo Disney Resort, could reach an agreement to adopt PayPass, uh, PayPass terminal at all over 200 stores in Xperi. And the two issue PayPass enabled uh, co-branded cards. Then, Oracle and Xperia installed PayPass terminal at almost all stores in Xperia in April of 2006. That was the uh, first PayPass in Japan market. PayPass was welcomed by both customers and store staff because it was easy, speedy, and convenient. Following PayPass, Oracle also launched other contactless products such as ID and QuickPay, including mobile version. Because Oracle believed that the contactless payment must help to increase transactions and the purchasing volume. Oracle was the only issuer to issue both of ID and QuickPay. In 2009, Oracle started issuing a credit card with both of ID and QuickPay together on one plastic card. Even now, Oracle is the only issuer to issue credit card with both of ID and QuickPay together. Oracle has been issuing MasterCard PayPass card since 2006, and in addition to it, Oracle started issuing the Visa Payway card in May of this year. As of today, Oracle is the first and only issuer of PayPass card and Payway plastic card in Japan. Speaking of mobile NFC, Oracle, working with the SoftBank Mobile and KDDI, conducted a couple of mobile NFC pilot between 2008 and to 2011. In December of 2011, Japan Mobile NFC Consor Consortium was established by NTT Dogomo, KDDI, and SoftBank Mobile. Oracle joined the, uh, the consortium and has been working as a leading member of Credit Card Working Group, of which purpose is unifying the specification of mobile NFC service in Japan. Now, we are almost ready to launch the first mobile NFC pay paywave in the very near future. And NFC payments will be followed. Now, I am moving to the uh, third topic, contactless market in Japan. This chart shows the, uh, the market size of contactless payment in Japan. According to the, uh, the NRI, uh, the Nomura Research Institute, 3 trillion, 145 billion Japanese yen will be paid by contactless payment in total. 2 trillion, 400 billion Japanese yen will be paid in prepaid services and rest of 745 billion yen will be paid by credit services. In another word, 76% of total will be paid by prepaid services. According to the, the Cabinet Office of Japan, private financial, uh, final consumption expenditure is about 305 trillion Japanese yen, and it's 17.4%, 53 trillion yen was paid by credit card. The next slide shows that currently about 180 million contactless prepaid cards are issued, but the mobile versions are remained at the 21 million. Yes. This slide and the next slide shows the means of payment by transaction amount. 
the left show uh, the the left shows me the transaction amount of less than one thousand, and the right uh, the center shows between one and five thousand, and the right show between five and ten thousand. Prepaid cards are used more often than credit card for transactions of less than 1,000. But credit cards are used much more often than prepaid cards for transactions of over 1,000. It is interesting that consumer living alone use card much more often than consumer living with family. This is the living alone, and that one is living with family. This shows that the consumer of 30s, age of 30, use contactless prepaid cards more than any other ages, regardless of the transaction amount. Utilization rate of 40s is higher than 20s. With this slide, uh, we can recognize that the cash is still the biggest payment means in Japan. It means there's still a huge business chance for credit, debit, and prepaid cards. This slide shows that the credit card transactions are still increasing year by year. But transaction amount of credit card has been dropped. It means credit card tends to be used for smaller amount payment, and I believe it is a good sign for expanding our business. The final topic of my presentation is our view for the future. As I mentioned before, the utilization rate of cash in Japan is about 80%. That is much higher than the other countries. For example, it is 39% in the US, 21% in Australia, and 36% in Korea, and 38% in China, according to the visa worldwide. Then, what will happen in the next few years in Japan? I believe that Visa, Payway, and MasterCard payments will help to increase credit card usage in Japan. Even now, some consumers believe that the credit card transactions take more time than cash transactions, so a few of them tend to hesitate to use credit card if there is a line at the cashier. However, if consumers pay with the, uh, the, their PayPass or pay, PayWay, it's clear that transaction time is much shorter than paying with cash. Once consumer knows it, they will be happy to pay with their credit card with PayPass and PayWay. After Oracle introduced PayPass at the expiry, the credit card transaction of less than 1,000 yen increased to double within a 12 months because it, it was easier, faster, and more convenient than cash. As you are aware, it is determined 2020 Olympic Games will be held in Tokyo, and major acquirers working together with Visa are expected to expand acceptance of pay and payway in metropolitan area. Area. It will make payway to be very common and widely used by consumers in Japan, and also as make travelers from overseas. In addition, Mastercard announced it will deploy 410. 410,000 papers enabled POS terminal over the next three years. Currently, there is practically no acceptance of PayPass and PayWay except Xperia, as I mentioned before, and another shopping mall in Yokohama. Also, 
mobile NFC is expected to be launched by the end of this year. Furthermore, NFC enabled smartphones will be penetrated in the next few years. Mobile NFC of PayWay and PayPal will be widely known and will be used in addition to existing ID and QuickPay and another other contactless prepaid services. If the, uh, the utilization rate of credit card is increased by two times, credit card purchase volume in Japan will be 106 trillion yen, which is equivalent to the 1 trillion US dollars. So, in conclusion, the payment industry have a very bright future with contactless payment along with mobile NFC. However, mobile NFC, to be popular and widely used, it should be very easy and very convenient and very secure. That's my conclusion. Thank you very much.